Coding interviews kind of suck. They can be very frustrating to say the least. Solving problems can be fun, but at least in an interview setting, it's usually very stressful. It's a really dr long drawn out process. You know, you're grilled with a bunch of technical questions and even worse, you don't even have any resources available to you. So needless to say, they can be pretty annoying. So here are some of the frustrating truths about coding interviews. The first frustrating thing is that how well you do is partially based on luck. And I'm not you know, trying to dismiss that studying consistently is the most important factor, but just like any interview, you can't be 100% sure what they're going to ask you, especially in coding interviews at least. There are so many different topics that you could be asked, it's impossible to be prepared for every possible question. I remember way back in the day, I was interviewing for my first software engineering job at a company called Western Digital. And in one of the interviews, I was asked to implement a red black tree in 40 minutes with no resources. And in my opinion, I got pretty unlucky. There were tons of other data structures I could have been able to implement, but I hadn't gone over red black trees prior to that interview. I'm sure anyone that has done coding interviews can relate to this story. Luck is just an unfortunate part of the process, but you can balance that out by studying consistently, of course. The next frustrating thing about coding interviews is that you're kind of at the mercy of your interviewer. And I don't think anyone is surprised by this. It's their job to determine whether you're qualified for the position or not but there definitely are some things that are completely out of your control. For example, if the interviewer shows up 10 minutes late to your interview, that sucks. That means you have 10 less minutes to solve the problem that they're gonna give you. And 10 minutes could really mean the difference between you getting the job and not getting the job. Or the interviewer could just be having a bad day. You know, we all have bad days. And depending on how that interviewer is feeling that day, they may be more harsh with whatever answers you propose. A couple months ago, I was interviewing for a software engineering role at a large tech company. And the interviewer asked me, how often do you work in the front end and how often do you work in the back end? So, you know, pretty standard question. I responded with, to be honest, it is probably an even 50-50. This sounds like a normal response, right? At least, you know, I felt like it was a pretty normal thing to say. 50-50, I work in the front end, I work in the back end. The interviewer responded to me with, you shouldn't respond with the phrase, to be honest, because it makes me feel like you aren't being honest. Yeah, I just wanted to throw that story out there for you. Interviewers have bad days and sometimes it is completely out of your control. And if you want, I'll make a video about my interviewer experience at that company. If people are interested, let me know in the comments if that is something you would like. The third frustrating thing is that most of the stuff you study for in coding interviews will not be used at all in the interview or even be relevant for the job you're interviewing for. If you think about how many different directions an interview could go, they could ask you about dynamic programming, trees, graphs, maps, queues, stacks, heaps, sorting, binary search, the list goes on. And this is only for algorithm questions. You may have an interviewer ask questions relating to certain technologies that you're familiar with. So the list is really endless of things that they could ask. The reality is a large majority of the things we prepare for in these interviews are not even going to come up in daily work life. In the five years I've been working in the industry, I've had to do about five tasks that involved actual algorithm knowledge, and they were all really basic things. And I don't want this to be you know, discouraging because sometimes it feels good just to learn new things, even though it may not be used on the job necessarily. But I figured this was a you know, good dimension, especially for some of the new grads that watch my videos and haven't you know, worked their first job first. A lot of these coding interviews, they, they don't really translate. The fourth frustrating thing is that coding interviews seem to just be getting more difficult. So this is completely speculation and just my opinion. I may be completely wrong, but I feel like now everyone knows how to prepare for coding interviews. They know they can use leak code, hacker rank, cracking the coding interview book, you know, pick your poison. There's tons of resources nowadays. My thought process is if you have a bunch of people grinding these problems, Interviewers will only make the interviews more and more difficult in order to probe for the best candidate.
And not only that, but the field of computer science is growing year over year. So that leads to more competition for these jobs and as a result, a tougher interview process. And I, I'm not trying to say this to scare anyone. It's just good to think about why we all have to put in so many hours to prepare for these coding interviews. The last frustrating part about coding interviews is that your technical abilities may not even be the deciding factor of you passing. You could get every question right, but there may be other factors at play, such as communication, comprehension, or just your speed in which you solve the problems. Every interview is gonna be different, and some interviewers might just be looking for you to solve the problems and don't care if you, you know, explain every last step while others may care more about how you explain your potential solution. That's why it's so important when you're studying to time yourself for every problem you solve and occasionally practice speaking out loud as you're solving it. These things can be, needless to say, very, very frustrating, but you know this is the way interviews must be played. I wanted to make this video not to just complain about coding interviews, but rather to keep you aware of the other factors at play here when you are interviewing. If you get rejected from a company you really wanted to work for, you know, try not to get down on yourself because as we just discussed, a little bit of luck is involved in the process. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Have a good one.